Frank Moon AS is located in Bergen, Norway, and has a long tradition as the leading supplier of submerged cargo pumps to the world tanker market. The Frama Research and Development Department is working continuously, upgrading the pump design to meet all the latest international rules and regulations. Before you enter the cargo tank to service the cargo pump, always close the hydraulic pressure inlet valve and secure it. Purge the coffer dam and be familiar with the ship's safety rules. Also, pick up the number of standard tools you need for the service from the Frama toolbox. Before you start the service, study the cargo pump service manual carefully, description and drawings. We will now show you how to dismantle the new cargo pump SD200 design number 6. Sequence number 1. Dismantling of impeller and wear rings. Normal service done by the crew on board. Start by dismantling the pump support ring. The pump support ring is a new design, easy to clean and will also improve the stripping result. Lift and secure the support ring to the pipe stack. Use a rope for securing. Loosen the bolt for upper wear ring support. Then loosen the bolts on the impeller hub, two turns only. Turn the impeller clockwise for easier access and a better working condition for loosening the bolts. Press down the bolts and pump impeller. When the pump impeller is loose, remove the bolts. Then remove the bolts between the volute casing and cargo leg. Exchange two of the bolts with lowering lifting bolts. One belt in each leg. Remove the rest of the bolts on the cargo flange and also between the volute casing and bearing housing. Finally, the volute casing, suction cover and pump impeller are now hanging by the lowering lifting bolts, diagonally positioned on each cargo leg. To avoid damage on the tank top, 